the sound of Wycliffe's country. DCR, the channel you want to listen to. This is Terry Cleaver here reporting at the Warmer Picnic on the Green for Dover Community Radio. Here with me I have... Chris Tuff, I'm the chair of the um, Senior Citizens Forum for Deal Warmer and Shoulden and also the secretary of the Dover District Senior Citizens Forum, the We're a Hub. And what do the Senior Citizens Forum do? We're a voice for seniors to take on to those who need support to develop the idea of support and the needs of individuals, i.e. it could be a broken paving slab outside of their own house, it may be about issues about a pension they're getting, it's a talking point. So we're more of a group who sit down and discuss the nitty gritty parts of senior life. And do you meet regularly to discuss these topics? Yeah, what we found is that the Senior Citizens Forum met normally on every six to eight weeks as a district. But we found in the day that we weren't getting enough reporting from seniors in the rest of the district. So we decided to open up hubs all the way around the district. With the pilot one, which has been the Deal Betsag, the Deal Warmer and Shoulder Hub, which has 94 members. The district on the whole has over 360 members and increasing. But what we want to happen is having more hubs set up around the district so we can get and listen to each and individual area's views of what's happening in their local area. Then that reports back to a meeting which is a district meeting and then because we sit on various um, committees um, with social services, whether it's in transport, whether it's about um, the health and well-being, um, anything we involved in the community with KCC and DDC we sit on. To the fact that um, I was sitting on the South East Network of Seniors, which is the whole of South East England, where we met um, on a regular basis. But that's falling down the wayside because you're not getting the support of seniors because travel commitments. So now it's trying to be a web-based area. So what we now say to our, our um, members, we get grants in for computers, laptops. So it reduces isolation so they don't have to come to a meeting. We can inform them direct by using email. That's a good idea. Yeah. So you're getting the message out there more. That's what it's about. Also to the fact that when people are unable to get around and they feel a bit lonely, all they've got to do is go on the internet, speak to one of the members in the uh, hub or in the district, and it's private and secure. Then if they feel that they want to speak to some of their relations all over the world, because they've got use of Skype, Google Mail, anything, so that it comes onto a video screen, always onto the laptop, and they can speak to their families either in the same room, which we give them the training, um, to do it on, on the laptops. We also loan them the laptop for three months. Also that includes the dongle for the Wi-Fi, unless they've got it themselves indoors. So we allow them to connect with everybody, which is so, so important. That really reduces isolation as well, doesn't it? That's the whole point of it all. It, it does reduce isolation. We get funding from various areas. Um, KCC have helped us out quite a bit um, by allowing us to have production of our own newsletter. Rather than going out to an outside source, we do it all in-house. We get the support from Jill Bexanger Rugby Club, who allow us to use their facilities to have our meetings, which is excellent because they're part of the community. And we have seniors who do rugby, and they're over 50, and so therefore it's, it's allowed to work. It develops. Sport brings in people, that they get their minds active, it gets their dexterity going if they want to play, or if they just want to come down to the rugby club and um, have social events down there, because we're part of it, um, to the fact that with the Senior Citizens Forum, we're now working with the, the, the new group, which is the Deal Icebreakers 1981, which is the growing group which does the Boxing Day Swim. All right, yeah. So we're working it together. So the Rugby Club, the Senior Citizens Forum, and this uh, end of the new group, which I happen to be chair of, um, allows it to develop from the people within the area. Rather than getting outside people in all the time, it gives people a function. They want, seeing as because they're old, doesn't mean they're useless. It just means they need a function in life to say, that's what I want to do. 
and locally they can. That's 60% of the area are seniors. So the demographics of that alone tells people really what happens. Now they haven't, a lot of them are busy. I'm busy, I'm semi-retired. All my time is not taken up through sorting out the newsletters, getting meetings together, going on different committee meetings, all for the well and the well-being of seniors, which is we're all going to be senior, you'll be senior soon. The senior age, although they think it's getting older because of pensions, now you look, it's looking like you won't be a senior to get pension when, say, with you until you're about 75. Like and people need even more support now. Don't exactly they? right. To know how they can go, go along. The youngsters need work, so it's putting a lot of seniors out. So they thought, what do they do? Do they fester? Do they sit in a chair and curl up? No, they don't. They join a group if they want to. If they don't, but they'd rather just look it on the internet, that's fine. You have this situation, you have this Silver Surfers, which is a fantastic organisation. There's a lot of support out there for people who are on, who only want to use the computer. It's the future. And it's their future as well. So because they're old doesn't mean that they can't do anything. It means it's their future, they want to learn, and they will learn given that support. So you're open to a lot of volunteers to join you as well, are you? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Dill, uh, Dill Walden and Shoulden area, we have, let's say, 94 members. Our function at the moment, being down here today, is to show off what we've done. Um, we've got a, a beautiful little banner up post there, we're showing the different parts of, of Dover, because it's a district. We hope to get from a 94, we want to treble that by um, 2014. It's a long work, you think, but a lot of singers joined other clubs. So their time is busy, and of course they die off. No, oh, I mean, yeah. It happens, it happens. We're always getting our membership check, who's always getting these things coming into him, saying, no one's dead, let's get someone else to take their place. It's part of life. No, I mean, no disrespect to people dying, mm. but then we're sending out newsletters to people when they're not there. And it puts a bad memory to people that they've been getting something in that person's name. So obviously we've got to take responsibility by taking them off of it. So we're not hurting the feelings of the recipient of, of the, the post. So it's a very hard thing to do to keep everyone sweet. It's bit, yeah. But it's fun. It is fun. We do a lot of events like the Walmart picnic as well. This this is our first one. This is our first one. Right. Because of public liability insurance. Oh yeah. Now, you have to have it coming to these events, so we got it. But that takes a chunk out of our budget. Um, it was £174 for public liability insurance to allow us to have four events a year. But we've got to have it, because someone's got to pay for it. Yeah. But we believe that everything we do is free. So it doesn't come into somebody's pocket who is senior and thinking, can I go, cannot I go, you don't. We've got the Seniors Day in October 1st. We're holding an event at St Mary's Hall in Dover. All right, to yeah. all our members. What date's that going to be on? That's the October the 2nd, which is on a... It's a week long, the first week in October. We haven't finalised it yet, but that's where we're holding it. Where they'll be catering, we hope to have some seniors playing music. To celebrate seniors. It's all, it's all over the world, it's happening that day. And that's our contribution. Canterbury's doing it, Folkestone's doing it. We were going to have a, a unique situation altogether, but the logistics of it, it's not oh, quite happening. Yeah, so what we do here, we are saying we'll supply the transport for our local members, or those who want to contact me want to come, it's not a problem. We usually cater for about 100, 150 max, because the hall can't take any bigger. Oh yeah, yeah? <laughs> So, And we do all the catering ourselves, which is what it's about. I've used a local trade around the corner, so it keeps money local. They supply the food, we serve it, because a lot of seniors can't make food anymore because they're too busy. So with our budgets, we're allowed to celebrate things like this, but say, okay, let's have a nice um, buffet, have teas and coffees, let's have a chat. Um, we used to um, go on the back of um, DDC's um, events. Because then we were found we'd get into a big audience. Like, the, like this event here, which Warmer has done, is a fantastic situation. And there's a massive audience oh. here seeing all these community groups yeah. as well. Yeah, and I think you'll find every table you go down here, you'll see seniors running it. 
a bar obviously for the youngsters down there with the air cadets. Yeah. But that's fantastic. It's a good mix. It is, isn't it? It's a really good mix. And rather fortunate because I'm a director of the rugby club, we got we had um, the boys out out the back there throwing the ball about to show everybody, hey, it's rugby. And it's right in right in your backyard. It's fantastic. It's a great way to get everybody together and say, what's happening, what's happening in Walmart? And this is what's happening in Walmart. People, not. <laughs> community. It really is. And I, I, basically, I want to say thanks to Walmart Parish Council for, for enabling it to work again, successfully again. Especially Bat Heath. Um, Councillor Bat Heath. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Um, Conservative. Well, I'm a councillor. I'm a Dill Town councillor. And I'm Labour. But we still get on. But we still get on. And that's what people are about. It's a community. That's the whole point of community, isn't it? It certainly is. It's non political. This is about people enjoying themselves, and if we can have people enjoying themselves, hey, That's it works. <laughs> it works. And Chris, finally, how can people find out more about se the senior okay. citizens? Right, forum? I can give you uh, my web number, my website address, uh, my email address, which is um, cjtuff at gmail.com. Or if they want to phone me, it's what well, number I've got run down there. I'm trying to think what I've got down there. Uh, um, oh, Leslie one is 01303 Thank you very much, Chris. We wish you every success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. The sound of Wycliffe's country. DCR, the channel you want to listen to.